Good afternoon, Pasco. Is everybody awake or sleepy? Okay, that's good. Um, I want to start with asking you a question. Um, can you give some examples of God's wondrous works, God's miracles, God's wonderful works? Okay, there's nobody. Let us have a volunteer from the staff. Okay, Mom Flora. Creation. Yes, of course, creation. Okay, we have one more up there from Daphne's side. Let, me, let us hear from Daphne. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. An example of God's wondrous works, God's miracles. Mom Flora said creation. Do you have anything in mind? Cross. Okay, the cross. The title of, of our devotional this afternoon is Man as God's Masterpiece. And the key text is found in Psalms 119.27. It says, Make me to understand the way of thy precepts, so shall I talk of thy wondrous works. So what are we going to talk about? Let us talk about thy wondrous works. But first, we have to have to understand about or see what's the synonym of wondrous. So we can see there from Miriam Webster, it says wondrous could be amazing, Awesome, marvelous, miraculous, wonderful, stunning, impressive, fascinating, phenomenal, mind-blowing. Like Mount Flora said, creation is one of God's wonders. Exactly. And among God's creation, man is God's masterpiece. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are His workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Psalms 139.14 says, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My teachers, my beloved teachers and staff, we have... Sir, Ma Sir Kevin, we have Mom Jelle, we have Mom Flora, we have Mom Hillary, and Sir Joshua, and my beloved fellow trainees, Pafko Batch 16. Each of us is God's masterpiece. Each of us, we have a higher calling from God, the highest calling ever. And each of us, responded to that call. Each of us, we have our divine appointment. We already heard, most of us already shared the testimony, like with Brother Dexter. He shared that he had nothing in his account, but when he looked at his box, there was books in there. And that is a wondrous work of God, to move the hearts and minds of people to help him. Sister Yvonne, all of us here, I can remember, Sister Felbim, sis, Sister Joanna, Brother Rian, and some of you I cannot mention, you have all the testimony. I have mine too, but that story is for another day. That God, all, we made it here, and that is God's wondrous work. Because, as, again, as I said, we have a higher calling, and we have a divine appointment. 
So again, let's read the text. Psalms 119.27, Make me to understand the way of thy precepts, so I shall talk of thy wondrous words, wondrous works. So how can we understand the way of the precepts? Answer, when we ask God for understanding, Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. So all we have to do is ask in prayer. Psalms 110, no, Psalms 111, 10 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. So it says here, the more we obey his commandments, the more we're going to have understanding. So again, uh, our text says, make me to understand the way of the precepts. So shall I talk of their wondrous works. So how can we talk about God's wondrous works? By the way we live our lives, in thoughts, in words, and in action. Do you remember a story in the Bible about uh, the, the man who was possessed? So after, after Jesus took out the, the, the devil from him, he wanted to go with Jesus. He said he begged Jesus. He begged to, to go with Jesus, but Jesus said, Mark 5, 19 to 20 says, But Jesus said, No, go home to your family and tell them everything the Lord has done for you and how merciful he has been. So the man started to visit the ten towns of that region and began to proclaim the great message, the great things Jesus had done for him. And everyone was amazed at what he told them. I want to share with you a very personal story of how God's wonders work personally in my life. I think that was after, after my graduation in college. We used to live here in Baessa. Actually, this Eternal Gardens has three gates, one in Reparo and one in Leland. And there used to be another gate Baesa. And across that, there was uh, an apartment, it's called Dinom Apartment, where my mom, my dad, my sister, and I used to live. And that was around 1990s, 94. And I want to share with you this, because I used to have a complaint with my left breast. I have pain, and I can palpate some kind of um, cyst or nodule. And I was so scared, so my mom brought me to an alternative doctor. So I was so scared because you know why? I saw a red spot in my left bra, and, and I assumed it was blood. Of course, I didn't send that for the lab to have it checked if it's blood, but it was red. And I have other signs of you know, I have pain, I can, I can sense a lump in my left breast. So my mom brought me to this alternative doctor, and this alternative doctor, without um, doing some diagnostic procedures, just by interviewing me and giving and getting my history, he said I had cancer. And that was so scary, you know? Uh, that was so scary. I got scared. So one day, I was on my bed, like maybe afternoon, it was daytime. I was on my bed, closed my eyes, and a verse in the Bible flashed into my head. And I was like, what is that? I'm not familiar with that uh, text. So I hurriedly searched the Bible and opened it, and it was Psalms 118, verse 17. It says, I shall not die but leave and declare the works of the Lord. So with that, I know that I felt like God was talking to me, and it was like, it's my second life, and that I have to dedicate my life to Him by declaring the wonders, the works that He has done in my life. So, my brothers and sisters, 
Is it our desire to ask God for understanding that we may understand His precepts so that we'll be able to declare the wondrous works of the Lord? Are we able to raise our right hand? Okay. So let us declare the wondrous works of God to the world. This is my sincere desire and prayer for all of us. Thank you.